Good morning, Melbourne. Wakey, wakey. Wake up, Melbourne. Jason Lauren. Turn it up. Start your morning the right way. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning, Loz. Morning, Clint. Good morning. Morning. Oh, my gosh. Clint, is it go day? Today's go day. It's go day. What, it's Friday. Go, go, go to Paris day. Oh, I thought go for oh, news day. I was no. like, go day's off to a bad start. No, no, no. No, no it's no. go to Paris day. Yes. We lose our Clinty. We don't yeah, lose him. Well, no, no, no. I'll be still uh, jumping in and out of the show uh, throughout the But I don't get Paris to physically Olympics. see you. Have you packed one thing for Paddy? Jace, I've packed some things for Paddy. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's talk about this a little later because I've got some good advice for you for packing for this trip. Well, just very quickly. As a seasoned professional when it comes to packing. Okay, I've I've got the washing machine on right now. <laughs> that's, okay. That's how yeah. last minute dot com it Are is. you packing the clothes horse? I've been <laughs> in that situation. The clothes wet when they're packed. <laughs> and as long as the things that are in the washer are things that can go in the dryer because you know chance exactly. of drying anything yes. in Melbourne winter. I'll tell you what I... got to be, that's a dryer job. You know what my favourite thing to do was if um, if Lou and I went on holidays in like Thailand, this is pre-kids, right? And you go travelling around Thailand and stuff. You know how they'd have the little laundromats? And yes. Like, yes. They'd clean your clothes for like two bucks and then they'd pack it in like a plastic, plastic bag. Plastic bag. We then, did that in Greece. Oh, and it looked like you were a it's bloody a drug mule, but clothes. You'd open your suitcase and it was all just plastic bags everywhere. It's it was lovely. amazing. Well. It just smells beautiful. Oh. And it's like 10 bucks to get the whole thing done. Yes. And then we often do that on like the second last day of holidays and then you come home with a clean suitcase. Well, see, sometimes- It's washed, it's clean, and you, then you don't have to come home from your holidays stressed. Or you come home, you put the T-shirt on, it goes from a T-shirt to a midriff. <laughs> oh, yeah, they shrink a lot of things. And There's like, a lot of shrinkage. Uh, can, you, can you put sorry. your midriff away? Sorry, Actually, sorry. you know what Paul did? Paul was like, said to them, he hates things shrinking, so he was like, could, there were things that could go in the dryer and things that couldn't, and then we picked up the things and they'd put them all in a bag wet, and then we hung them out on our beautiful hotel in Greece, which looked so beautiful. And then you saw our balcony, and it looked like a laundromat oh, with everything yeah. hanging from the yeah. roof. And I was like, "Paul, this is oh, yeah. so embarrassing. We look like we're in a Thai marketplace and we're selling all your fake Ralph Lauren shirts." <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's better than using that. Silly little stretchy string that goes across the bathtub. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Sometimes. I, oh, stretchy string. T- t- I've slipped in the bathtub and almost necked myself on that thing before. <laughs> but have you ever tried to do laundry in a hotel? You know how they've got the little bags and they can do it in the hotel? I, it, you make that mistake only once. And then oh, you get the yeah. bill back. Only and once. And they charge sorry. you like $7 per, per a pair tiny of undies. little pair of undies. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the bill and you're like, okay, anyway, well, there goes the rest of the holiday budget. This close... This close chat is triggering for me because mm. uh, we're still rearranging the new house, working out you know what where our stuff gets stored. Have you got a walk-in wardrobe at the new house? We sort of do, but it's very small. So Lou has moved my stuff. Into the spare room. No, the laundry. <laughs> oh. Oh, that seems unfair. <laughs> oh, that's... Mm. In the laundry. And then I'm like looking for my socks this morning and I noticed she's to- actually packed them in my shorts. Oh, you've got a sock with you. <laughs> No, that'll Hang be hand- handy later on. It's not a bad idea. Every time you put a pull, go to put a pair of pants on, the matching socks are in the pocket. So we'll be doing Don't a, hate it. another rearrangement today when I get yes. home. You need some room in that walk-in. I'm not getting dressed in the laundry. Like, come on. You're like a oh, dog. she's fully expecting you to get up every morning and get dressed. <laughs> That's where the dog sleeps. Uh, hey, I mean, um, worth a try. Hey, uh, guys. Um, We have a massive show coming up today. We're going to be catching up with one of our Victorian athletes uh, just before they jump a plane to Paris, dare I say. One of the fastest men in Melbourne will be joining us after 7 o'clock this morning. I am finding it very amusing that Clint is leaving for his preparation before the athletes leave for their preparation for the Paris Olympics. I'm I'm a toned, almost Olympian. Also, sorry, Loz. Yes. I was just going to say, uh, with Clint going to Paris, I mentioned yesterday... Mm -hmm. If there is something that you need to get to someone in Paris, or if you have a friend or loved one in Paris and you need something <laughs> brought back, Clint is happy to be the... the, the I would say courier. 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 We're calling it a courier. courier. And I shall vet it. 13, 20, 14 Parisian. is our number. Courier. Yeah. You got any family, friends in Paris you haven't seen that you need to get something to? <laughs> Wait, last, last, I remember last yes. time. Last time Clint travelled, he was at the World Cup. 
And we've got a friend of ours that owns a coffee shop. Mm. And whereabouts were you for the World Cup? Uh, where, where what? You, the World Cup. Yes, yeah, I remember. And you were asked to bring back a watch. Oh, that's right. Are you, are you serious? That's I don't right. Think I knew that. What was Adam it? At the was coffee it a, shop. Yeah, was but it, was it a Rolex? It was a Rolex. It was like. Was a, it a Folex or a Rolex? We're not sure. It just seemed dodgy. He goes, What hotel are you at? Mate of mine will rock up with a Rolex. You wear it and bring it back. Bring it back. But didn't he tell you to wear, wear it? it? Yeah, wear it through customs. You've got to wear it because <laughs> otherwise they try and sting you for the tax. No wearables here. Did you do it? No, I didn't. Either no, that. Still filthy at me. Or the watch you faces. You should have said it was confiscated and kept it. Packed with God only knows what. No, it's a watch. Small, small anyway. package. All right. So, uh, look. Like an episode of Travel Guides. I was more thinking border security. <laughs> Banged to up be abroad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Clint wouldn't last one hour in jail. <laughs> you are way too pretty, my friend. <laughs> no, I don't feel like a shower today. I'm fine. Morning, everyone. This is Nova. Uh, cloudy today. Uh, tops 10. She's going to be chilly. Um, that is cold. No, highs are 13. My bad. Oh. <laughs> you're not very good with the weather, are you? It, honestly. <laughs> Do you think it's something that you're ever going to get better at? Or are you just going to read the wrong temperature every day for the rest of our lives? Consistency is my key. So, That's uh, good. You don't want to rattle the listener. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to say some crazy temp and have them go, well, is he right now? You know, I like, yeah. I like you know. That was the story of my life as a weather girl. Yeah, exactly. Like Make I'm, sure you move your kids' parties inside today, Melbourne. It is going to pour with rain, and then it ended up being 23 and sunny. They get sunburnt. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> hey, uh, coming up later on this morning, we are paying your bills at Nova. We know it is a crazy time at the moment, so make sure you register your bills by the Nova Player app or at novafm.com.au. Is it too early to talk pickup lines? Never oh. too early, is it? No. I need some There'd advice. There'd be people in the club doing it now. Can I just check where your jumper... Can I have a look at the label on your jumper? I just want to see if it's... Made in heaven. Oh, oh that's that a is good one. repulsive. And <laughs> people are still wheeling that out. It's a big thing at school at the moment. The boys came home saying, Is it? Yeah. I don't mind that one, Jace. Have you held on to that for don't, a few years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't yeah, ever, yeah. ever, ever do it. That's a goodie. You'd be surprised it's never worked. Well, there can be, <laughs> there's often a gulf between a good pickup line and a really, really corny one. But the good news is this morning that psychologists have now revealed that pickup lines with the highest success rate, basically. Oh, and then, and oh then can the- I just interrupt for one yeah. second? Chicks don't like pickup lines. Like, just be funny and quirky. Don't roll with, like, a gag. Yeah, but maybe you just haven't heard a good one. Maybe. But maybe. I've been on this planet for a long time. <laughs> mm. So what they've done is they've basically nailed an approach where you have success almost always. So, oh, okay. Like... And as Lauren's saying, while many people choose comedy or maybe subtle sexy statements yeah. when speaking to a stranger, some studies have found that being direct, being honest, is the oh. best strategy. So oh. scrap the humour, scrap the corn, just you Scrap direct. the corn. But although girls do like, like humour is a big part of like flirting and, and what attracts women to men, I would say. Sorry. You have, sorry. But it doesn't no, mean you have no. to be like stand-up comedy humour. You can't like win. Like su- subtle humour. Blokes can't win. 60 seconds ago, you were drop the humour. We don't no, like it. No, drop the corny pickup lines. Like don't walk up to someone and pretend you're Jerry Seinfeld no, and try no. and deliver a zinger. But according to the, I know, but according to this bloody scientist, he's saying walk up and say, let's get nude, and that's going to work. Like, okay. Oh, well, well Loz, that, do, you, is that- do you play soccer? No. Oh, because you're a keeper. <laughs> oh. Not bad. Not bad. I don't hate that one. You know who'd have a, you know who'd have a classic pickup line? Oh, no. Don't, don't empower him. Don't oh, empower him. The thumb. The, the thumb would have the, a few. The thumb our executive producer. Hang on, let me set the scene. All right, thumb. Maybe you're in a bar. All right. Lauren's at the, Lauren's at the bar. Oh, one vodka soda, thanks. Are you from Tennessee? You're the only ten I see. Oh, <laughs> not I don't bad. hate that one either. Not don't bad. hate it. Now I'm from South Yarra, darling. But uh, <laughs> you know, you should have let me. You should have let me respond. Like, no, no, I'm not from Tennessee. And then deliver the zinger. You're too. Oh, it's right. too much. It was and the about, joke and the punchline um, all in one. And while you're here, can you pay for this vodka lime inside? Yeah, seriously. What about? Uh, do you like raisins? Um, I love raisins. How was I supposed feel, to say no? How do you feel about a date? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Not bad. Come on, Jay. Surely you got okay. something. I've, uh, the, the only one I've got is the Made in Heaven. <laughs> I'm going to die Out there in Melbourne, our, our listeners would have some okay. absolute zingers for I'll tell you sure. What. I'll tell you what. Let's Sometimes do... the worse they are, the better they are. Let's role play this morning. Yeah. 13. <laughs> do we need to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so awkward. 13, 20, 4, 10. Me. Hang on. 13, 20, 4, 10. <laughs> we will put Lauren in the bar. All right. We'll... Yes. We're back in the bar. 13, 20, 4, 10. Woo! Give us a ring. Roll out a pickup line on Lauren. I like this. Okay, if it gets a laugh or a little bit of a flirt back, then you'll walk away with a prize. I've got $200 Kogan vouchers up for grabs. Uh, Kogan.com helps you get what you want for less. Kogan.com. Now, that is clicking awesome. Where did you do some of your best single work, Lauren? What bar? What bar are we in this morning? Um, we are in, I don't think it's open anymore, but we're in Boutique, guys. Oh. We're at Boutique is that the on one Revel with the- Street. The Lazy Susan? No, 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 no. no that's 21st no, 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 century. No, no. Oh, no, I didn't do my best work there. Well, the great no. thing is there, if the bloody pickup line doesn't work, you wait for the rotating dance yeah, floor to come around again. One. Yeah, you just no, go it's Friday night. It's, <laughs> it's 80s night at Boutique. That's where I am. That's where I am mentally. 13, 20, 4, 10. Roll out a pickup line on Loz. Get a laugh or a flirt back. Win yourself a prize. Guys, anyone up for hitting the club? Absolutely. I am. Take me to Boutique. Yeah! Woo! What was the other one? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers and room. I went oh, to room a yes. lot. Is room still going in I Hawthorne? I think it is. I think it turned a little bit swingery. Oh, yeah. I was a big fan of room. <laughs> What's the address of that room? Yeah. <laughs> 13, 13, 20, 410. We're talking pickup lines this morning. Uh, give us a ring. We're role playing. Lauren's in the bar. Roll out your pickup line. If you get a smile, a laugh or a flirt back, you walk away with a prize. Do we get a bit of small talk first, or is it straight into it? Well, why, why don't you ask John, who's walking up to you at the bar now? Hello. Hi, hi there. Hi, I'm Lauren. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> I'm John. Hey, John. How are you? I'm great, John. How's your night? It's good. It's been mm. really good. Yours? Oh, John, yeah, come on. Not bad, John. I'm just going to order a drink, actually. <laughs> You're boring me, John. See you, John. I think John was about to cable John, tie you, you, and, oh, cable tie on, you and put you in the booth. Come the on, car. John. Save, salvage the situation. On, What's the pickup line, John? Well, I was going to ask, did you just come out of the oven because you're looking hot? <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. No, she's no, just been John. to Mykonos. <laughs> John, I'm, I'm engaged to be married, John. Lauren Phillips, last seen with John. <laughs> If anyone's got a John, side don't of... try that one again. <laughs> Let's give Frank a Boys bell. and girls, don't try that one in the club. Oh, Frankie. Guess, guess what? She's all yours. And she's not the bar. She's on a plane. Oh. Oh, oh Frank. Excuse me. You might want to walk up to your fellow passenger. You're on. Hello, Aaron. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name's Frank. Hi, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> I'll just get straight into it. Is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Oh, yes. John, That's we're great, not on John. an aeroplane. Somebody get the air marshal. <laughs> that is great. I'm going to need to change seats. Oh, Frank, I like, I like not that. Not John. Frank, Frank gets a voucher. Yep, yep. Frank, no. two, a $200 Kogan voucher. <laughs> Beautiful. No. Thing, guys. Yep, use it no. when you get parole. Surely I get to choose. <laughs> no. Surely I get to choose. He would get tasered and he would be, like, taken off by yeah. the ADF. That's why I said he can use it when he gets parole. Okay, anyone else? Yes. I okay. guess what? Who we got? You've run into Mark in the 80s bar. Oh, oh yeah. Woo. I oh, love this g'day. song, Toto. Mark. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mark. How are you? Um, I've never been better, Mark. I love this song. I'm in the bar. I am living. That's the way. How's your night been? It's been great. It's just been a hoot, Mark. <laughs> it's been a hoot. That's good. <laughs> Feels like a bit of a museum because you're, you're quite the piece of art. He stumbled. He stumbled on this. I know you. You you got to be confident, Mark. We must be in a museum because you are quite the piece of art. You know what? At least it's not sleazy. (laughs) Or is that sleazy? No. No. He asked how my night was. Yeah. Yeah. Good chat, Mark. (laughs) You know what, Mark? (laughs) You're a piece of art. I'm (laughs) going to give you a double. Thank you, Mark. To the Melbourne Storm. All right. You can get your tickets to a Storm game today via Ticket Tech. Oh, that's romance. The Storm. I'll load you up a double. Oh, guys, sorry. We're going I like back. this game. Can we play again? Well, we have to go back to the oh, club. Okay. okay. My options are still open. Brad from Backers Marsh just rocked up. Oh, g'day, Hi, Brad. Lauren. How are you going? 
I'm great, Brad. How's your night? Yeah, not too bad. I've um, oh. lost my little spoon. I wonder if you'd be able to help me. You've lost your what? <laughs> little spoon. Oh. Um, I, I, where, where do you want to look for your little spoon? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't, that's all right. I'm also looking for a fork. A fork? No, yeah. I can't see any forks around. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of it? Did I miss the joke? Oh, my, was I supposed to say, wait, go he back, was, go back, go back, no, go no, back, go back. No, 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 he was like wanting to I spoon you and then he wanted spoon. to fork you. Yeah, yeah. I could be your, oh, to I was forking. supposed to say I could be your big spoon. Yeah, yeah there oh, we go. Goodness, yeah, that right. didn't quite No, that, that, ne- that didn't hungry, though. <laughs> should, we, should we go back to the, the 80s <laughs> should club Should we go again? for a bite to eat? <laughs> We're going back to the 80s club. Okay. Liam's there to wrap us up. G'day, Liam. Hey, Lauren. Oh, hey, Jake. Hey, Liam. No, don't worry about him. It's just you and me, Liam. Hey, hey, Lauren, do you like uh, animals? Do you like whales? I, I love animals. Do I like whales? Like whales? I prefer yeah. dolphins, but I don't mind the odd whale oh, okay. watching. I was just wondering because I've got a humpback at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, <laughs> Liam, have you ever used that in your life? <laughs> no. Right, yeah, gotcha. Oh, you've never actually used it? Yeah, right. Yeah, don't. No, I don't. don't, think so. don't. No, <laughs> no Liam, I'd actually. Liam gets a prize as well. Yeah, All give right. Liam something. I liked his delivery, though. Yeah. He, yeah. he nailed the Concise. delivery. I was about he to sat say, on that one for a while. I was about to say, family pasta gone by well, but I don't know if they'll <laughs> let you in now. How about a $250 no. Bailey Nelson voucher? Uh, that's yeah, coming great. your way. He, are you saying he needs glasses because he said I was a hottie? <laughs> you believe it. Yep, you better believe it. Uh, <laughs> Bailey Nelson is shaking up the way you get glasses with friendly optometrists. And Australian is, design frames at fair prices. Is the spoon and fork guy the only one that didn't win something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah our very own Clint gets airborne today. I do. To head to Paris. Oh, I've never been more oh. ready, Jase. <laughs> we were. Wee, wee, wee. Wee. Washing machine, I can hear it from here. Question. Yes, question. Oh, I'll ask you later. It's a favour I need. Uh oh. What is it? What well, depends on the favour. You can't do that. You can't tease us all. You can't give me a little taste test now. No, no, that's right. No, no. no what, what, what theme? What's. It's to do with your car. Oh, God. It's he wants been, to borrow your it's car. It's already been lend, uh, lended. Oh, what are you doing? Airbnb being the car while you're away, Dale? Lent. Lend, <laughs> lended. Loaned. Loaned. We got that. Am I, I the think it's been person? loaned. <laughs> Am I the journalist? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell at six. It's already been lended. Who's, who's taking My the... My brother-in-law's going to take the car. Damn it. The sports car. And then, you, and then your sister's moving in to the house, isn't she? Is she for a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Dog sitting. Dog it is dog very sit. important. Gotcha. Someone needs to dog sit Pep. Someone else needs to of tell life. me things that aren't for on the air that are off the air. All right. The love of your life is Pep. But speaking of love of your life, uh, I want to know Melbourne because we've all been there. Anyone in a relationship? 13, 24, 10 is our number. What has your partner made you go to or made you oh. sit through? Like for me, uh. it's on Saturdays. I have to sit through the races. Every Saturday, not just at one track, multiple tracks, because Paul loves horse racing and he would drag me all around the world to watch it if he could. Yeah. But there is an AFL player who's been put in, well, not a compromising position, um, but a tricky position. It's Jack Buckley from the GWS, Clint. He has to decide between playing for his beloved Giants or, I know what I'd pick, going to Paris to watch his girlfriend, Celeste, compete in the Olympics. She's a hurdler. Uh, And he was saying... I'd go the footy. uh, I'd skip the footy. Just Point blank, you'd you'd go the footy? I'd I'd skip the footy so I didn't have to hear that song. It's his job. He's got to do his job. Oh, no one really cares about a job. They are going very well this year, the Giants. (laughs) They they could be playing finals. Exactly. Young player. But I'm sure she probably goes and watches him play every week and now she's got her chance to have him in the stands at the Olympics, which is once every four years. And for a lot of athletes, it's actually once in a lifetime, right? Yeah. I mean, is she going to win gold? <laughs> well, are the Giants going to win the grand final? Well, there's a chance this year. Well, she's got a chance too. Can't, well, I mean, he should go. He, he must go. Can't he just watch it on the telly? <laughs> oh, well, no. No, it's not the same. It's not the same as being there. Good on him. So it hasn't been confirmed yet, but there is strong speculation that he will be bidding Melbourne farewell and saying well, oh, bonjour to Paris to watch his girlfriend run the Olympics. He's not the only one. On I know there's a D's player, Ed Langdon, who a few weeks ago yeah. ducked yeah. over to Europe because his sister was getting married. Oh, mm. yeah, you can't be missing your sister's wedding. Although 
she could have changed. She could have chosen yeah, that's that on day her. if she that's, wanted that's him that's there. And then there's the Paul old. Celeste can't choose the Olympics day. There's the old baby dilemma. Yeah. Where, Is it a dilemma though? I don't think be? it's a dilemma. You just go to the birth of your baby regardless of if you I have would. a footy game or not. I would. I mean, look, I've I've been there for all three when yeah. you've seen one. You've Bit seen that's not hobby. true. Yeah. You nearly missed one because you're eating a sausage roll in the cafe at Cabrini. Mm, <laughs> true or false? That's a good point. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, mm. so you want to know, on 13, 24, 10, what did your partner make you watch or go to? I don't think she's making him go or watch, though. I think he wants to because he sounds like a lovely boy. Do you know one of our producers used to date... Someone who was into the ballet. Oh, the dance ballet. concerts are the worst. That must be a refined producer. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's the thumb. Our executive oh. producer. Was she in like the Australian ballet thumb or was she like a local hip hop dancer? This was really average amateur ballet. <laughs> And did you have to sit through the concerts where it goes from (laughs) three-year-olds to mature age dancers? Yes, and they all have three dancers each. So it's jazz, tap, and classical. No, thanks. And you have to watch the whole dance school. The whole school. And it goes for like six hours. (laughs) (laughs) I had to go and watch my friend in one of those ones, and it was just excruciating to watch. Oh, my God. No, but we sat at the back, and you know what? There should be an age cutoff for people that do amateur ballet, and it should be about (laughs) ten. How old was she? 21. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, it's not amateur at 21. You've either you made tw- it or you have 21 happened. in the leotard. 13, 24, 10 is our number, right? As a partner, there's things you just have to do. What yeah, have you had 100%. to go to, whether it's a, a partner's Christmas party or something like that, oh. or something you've had to watch? In return, oh. I, uh, so I was just going to say I've got a $250 QT rooftop voucher up for grabs. You can check Ooh. out the snow globe on the rooftop at QT. That is a great bar up there as well. It's awesome. I had a yeah. night out there not that long ago. Paul tried to make me sit through the air show. He's in aviation. Oh, I'd love to go to the air show. Yeah, that's Hell cool. That's no. Cool. No. What? No. I've never really understood why people pay. Couldn't you just stand on the other side of the fence Probably. and look up? I don't know. They do commentary or something. Yeah, just on the the Geelong Road. Yeah, right. Mate, no thanks. That is heaving. Every year they do it. The traffic to Geelong to go to the air show Mm. is crazy. No, thank you. 13, 24, 10. What have you had to watch or go to because your partner made you? A, A GWS player is set to hang up the boots and head overseas to watch his hurdling partner compete at the Big O. 13, 24, 10. The Olympics is what he's referring to. I know, to. but just for legal reasons, I don't want to be sued. Um, no, we can say Olympics until the Olympics. Okay. All right. So heading over for the think. Olympics, a.k.a. <laughs> the Big O. The Big O. Uh, what has <laughs> your partner it. made you watch or go to? Let's go to Joe and Geelong. G'day, Joey. Morning, Joe. Hi. How are you? We're good. Uh, I um, bought my husband a season ticket to the opera, knowing <gasps> he didn't like the opera. But because I liked it, I knew I knew he'd have to come with me. Right, you guys oh, still together? How, how many times did you go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are still together, and we went. I think it was about five or six times. But he really liked the bar at Interval. Right, yes. yeah, that's good. Can you recreate? Did he sometimes um, stay at the bar at Interval? Yeah, good call. Good call. What, sorry, what was that? Did he sometimes stay at the bar at Interval and never return? No, I, I dragged him back in. <laughs> hey, uh, Joe, can you give us a dramatised reenactment of how he reacted when he opened the tickets? It was pretty much a blank face, really. Mm. It was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to your old stomping ground, Glenn Waverley. G'day, Karen. Hi, how are you going? We are good. Hello, Kaza. Uh, what is it, Karen? Is it you or your partner that has to sit through something? Oh, no, he made me sit through something. I'm a Collingwood supporter, and he took yeah. me to a Carlton game in the cheer squad. In the cheer oh, squad? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Were you wearing what? your merch? Uh, no, they okay. would have killed me. God. They would have killed you. But did you have to wear Carlton merch? No, 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 no. You no. refused. No. Clint, uh, Clint booked our flights for Gather Round, and he made me sit on the Carlton Cheer Squad plane, which was you exciting. Did too. <laughs> I woke up That's to some bad. sort of phantom Batgirl standing over me. Their their mascot. You thought you were dreaming. <laughs> Lycra at fourteen thousand feet does not belong. And face paint, plenty of face paint right. going around in the Cheer Squad. How about uh, Stephen? Morning, Stevie. Uh, your partner. 
What did he make you go uh, to? Oh, she made me go to um, a make- makeup to- tutorial class at Mecca. That just oh. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, what? Holding brushes. Ah, oh, Christ. It and was did, awful. Did you, did, <laughs> did, you, did you learn how to do her makeup? I learned how to pass her some brushes. That's, yeah. that's what I learned. Oh, you were the, like, the sous chef, like why, the assistant. Why would you drag your partner to oh, What's important? important? Maybe Life her friend lessons. was supposed to go and they pulled out. Is that what happened? A makeup tutorial at Mecca. Oh, God. Lou tried to oh, drag God. me to one of those paint and sip nights. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Our old work made me oh. go to a couple of them. Oh, That's right. Painful. The old work <laughs> or the paint and sip night? <laughs> Let's go to Stacey on 13, 20, 4, 10. <laughs> Stacey, uh, what did you drag someone to? Uh, my partner did. I'm a massive F1 fan, and uh, this year he decided that was when we were going to Ballarat to watch the Bulldogs at the stadium, and so I had to go goal panning and everything with the kids <laughs> and then watch the Ballarat game instead of watching the race. <laughs> did you dress oh, up in the old clothes? Did you dress he up? made you oh. go to Sovereign Hill. <laughs> Yes, I was not overly impressed. And then to add salt to the wound, my uh, best friend's getting married next year on the F1 weekend. So oh. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Throw the towel in. Let's go. Throw the towel in on the Formula One. Sovereign Hill, what an experience. What an experience. I've never done it. Haven't you? You must go and you must get the olden day photos. We must go with him. (gasps) Should we get one of the olden day photos? We absolutely should. (laughs) Do you know the activities you can do up there? Like you start at the goal panning, you go bowling. They've got old school bowling. What do you mean? I can do that that down at Zone. No, no, no. Like wooden bowling. Like like wooden bowls. Balls. Really? (laughs) Wooden balls. (laughs) They've got the, yeah, there's we can a, go to like school. a winter snow festival. We can go to school, can we? It's snowing. Yeah, you go to school. Yeah. yeah. Hardy, my eight year old, wanted excursion. to go gold panning. And I'm yeah. like, oh, it seems like Get some lot. raspberry shots. He'd be so disappointed, though, store. that he'd only get little gold flakes. He'd want a nugget. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Knowing Hardy. Yeah, a chicken one. G'day, Kate. How are you? <laughs> Hello, I'm well. How are you? We're good. What ha- <laughs> What did you have to do on your honeymoon? Oh, my God. My uh, partner made me go fishing on our honeymoon, and I hate oh. fishing. <laughs> oh, fishing is not a honeymoon yeah. activity. No. Although, yeah, no. not for a whole I day, guess right? <laughs> that is the time when it's like, well, we're married now, and so you have to lean into the things oh. I like, okay. and I have to lean into the things you like. Did you, did you land a big fish? A little one. <laughs> is that what you call him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, nah, it's gross. And then you catch, the, well, first of all, the baiting part of fishing is just repulsive. Yeah, it, isn't, it, it doesn't isn't scream it. romance. Putting it on the hook. Oh, and yuck. then when you catch something, you have to God, I remember going kill it. deep sea like fishing. That. Oh, Did you deep, catch anything? No, I just got, I, I was violently ill. And I just remember <laughs> the captain going, you'll be right, mate. We head back in six hours. Oh, oh no. Yeah, and fishing's an all-day activity. Yeah. No thanks. I was, I was tempted to just jump in the ocean and pray for the rescue chopper. Um, guys, Paul has been doing this thing to me, which he thinks is so amusing, and it makes me really angry. And I've since worked out I'm not the only person that's having this happen to them. So I noticed him doing it far more regularly when we're on holidays. And, um, okay, let me set the scene. We're lying by the pool, and the waiter oh, comes yes. past and says, can I get you guys a drink? And Paul would say, oh, yep. Oh, I'm lying down, not paying attention, yep. but sort of paying attention. Females are always sort of paying attention. And Paul would say, yeah, could I have a beer and um, a pina colada for my friend? Good choice. <laughs> for, friend? for my friend? Not fiancé. For, for my, my friend. friend. And I would sit up and go, wait till they'd left and go, did you just call me your friend? Oh, she and he laughs. He'd laugh every time. And I'm like, I'm not your friend. I'm your fiancé. The first time I was like, that's funny. The next time we'd be out for dinner. Um, yep, I'm going to have a beer and... Uh, a glass of rosé for my friend. Yes. And I was like, for my friend? Do you? Uh, and then I'd awkwardly be like, oh, I'm not, we're not friends. I'm his fiance. Oh, no. Oh, and, and then I'm like, like cra- that you, you sound great, Paul, would you, he'd be like, you sound crazy. Stop it. And I'm like, why are you calling me your friend? And he's been doing it nonstop just to irritate me. And I have since found out that this is a thing that is happening on TikTok. And you introduce your partner or you're on the phone to someone and you say, oh, I'm just in the car with my friend and you watch them react. And everyone loses their mind over it. I think we've got some examples on TikTok. Yo, what's up? Nothing much. I'm just chilling with my friend right now. What? Who are you talking to? Nobody. Uh, yeah, I can be there in like 20 minutes, if that's fine. I'll just leave my friend here. I'm not your friend. I'm the girlfriend. 
I gotta go. My friend's getting in. Did you just call me your friend? No. Who are you talking to? Just calling me your friend. <laughs> I'm calling my dad, buddy. If you were talking to your dad, you would have said no. Brandy's getting in. You would use my name. I was like, who are you talking man? to? You know the funny thing is that's strong. That's also <laughs> exactly how Lauren would have sounded at the yeah. restaurant. <laughs> oh my god! Every time he'd be like. I'd be lying down, That's sort of half good. asleep, and I would sit upright instantly. I'm like, did you just say my my friend? He may. Uh, so don't don't do it. Paul's but learned about this. Jace, on- please do it. Oh, hundred percent. Please do it. I will do it today. That's- <laughs> but also, who knew Paul knew about TikTok trends? I know because I'm I've. It's a good one. I've just started doing your trick that you taught me when Lou and I were in the What's car. What's up, brother? No, no, no. What's no, no. up, brother? No, not that. Not the hook toy. Um, no, when, not the what? <laughs> I'm ho- you've just started doing hook to? When you're hook in to. the um, when you're in the car and a friend calls and you have to answer on the speaker and your partner's in the car, I've been doing Lauren's trick where I'm like, Clint Stanaway. Oh, yeah. And then that Good way, code. me saying your full name, you know that my Can partner's in the car. Can I just say, my friend told me that who's a guy, and I told you that that's what he does. You went and said it on the radio, and I copped it from him and all of his mates because the you code's ruined the bro broken. code. The code's been broken, Jace. Sorry, It Dale. doesn't work anymore. So now what do you do? Did you say sorry, Dale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it was, Dale. was it Dale? <laughs> <laughs> of course it was Dale. Sorry, Cheesy. <laughs> sorry, Dale. My bad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm g- I am definitely going to do Can that. Can you please th- try the friend thing? I'll do that it to my friend today. It doesn't work in reverse because yeah, I don't friend. think blokes care. But women, I'm no, you're, not you know your what? friend. You're exactly right. Like, if I filmed what? Paul with the reaction of me going, this is my friend Paul, he'd be like, what's up, brother? <laughs> he wouldn't get Or he'd be like, at all. I've won, I'm the friend. I've got one foot out of this relationship. <laughs> 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 there is a light on the horizon. <laughs> hey, uh, Clint's here in the newsroom. Clint, you head to Paris later today for the Olympics, and you might be on the plane with our next guest. The road to becoming an Olympian is tough, and one our next guest knows a lot about. He's a Melbourne boy who was previously in the Hawthorne Footy Club Youth Academy. He ranked first in the world in 2020 for the under-18 110-metre hurdles. He won gold at the 2024 Oceania Athletics Championships in Fiji. He is the third all-time fastest Australian hurdler, and he'll be representing Australia at the Paris. Paris Olympics. Please welcome to the show, Taleb Willis. Hey, hey, hey. Taleb, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you for having me. It's quite a resume. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's it skyrocketed in the last year. How old are you? I'm 21. I hate oh overachieving young people. I hate young, successful people, Clint. <laughs> what at, were we all doing at 21? We were smoking darts at 7 Eleven car parks. <laughs> I <Lauren>. still am. <laughs> uh, Hey, Taleb, I mean, at 21, you're still such a young man. How old were you when you decided this was your dream, to go to the Olympics and to be an Olympic hurdler? Yeah, ever since I was a little kid, honestly, probably 10 years old. What are you packing in your suitcase? We asked Harry Garside this same question, yeah. and he had some rogue things he's taking yeah. with him, just things that make him feel like he's at home. Yeah, I've got a, um, a good luck toy I've had for probably five years. It's like this little mini mouse. Um, okay. She's a bit dirty, but yeah. she's been yeah. everywhere. She's yeah. been Fiji, Canada, every state in Australia. She's been everywhere. Every Everywhere I travel, I put her up, and then she just gives blessings in the room. It's a bit weird. No, whatever but works that's for you. Whatever works for you. That works for me, yeah. You got to get over those Is it your lucky charm? <laughs> yes, your it is my mouse. lucky charm. I'll, it tell is. You, I'll tell you what'll be weird. you, you got to share rooms over there. <laughs> when the flatmate walks in and sees the bloody Mickey Mouse doll sitting on the ledge, it might be a bit. <laughs> he might have his own lucky charm. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Who, do you know who your roommate is yet? No, I do not. Which uh, I'm excited for that because this is my first like big international comp. So whoever it is, I'll probably get along with them. So hopefully it's like someone like Peter Ball, Harry yeah, Garside, right. someone like that. And and once uh, competition's finished, hopefully you know you're going to have a medal around the neck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Are you allowed to stay on? Are you allowed to indulge in some? Paris activities, go out to the clubs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I definitely wanted to do that because yes. all season's been just oh, bed at 10.30, locked in, everything yeah, like that. Yeah. So same, same. I yeah, would, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like Have to you been enjoy to Paris it. before? No. It's my first time going to Europe, so I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool, wow. mate. Um, hey, uh, I'm not sure if the rule is still in play, but I remember many years ago chatting with Stephanie Rice when mm. she brought back all the medals um, in the swimming. And the rule was, if you won gold or silver, I think it was, you got a guaranteed business class flight the on the way back. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you get and a if medal. You didn't win you down the back. Yeah, you get a medal, you get upgraded. <laughs> Have you heard about this? I haven't heard about this. Mm. Maybe they think I'm not in contention, but 
No, 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 no. No, you'd only find out afterwards. Yeah. But that's motivation, isn't it? Just yeah. to run a little bit faster. I would love to see you on the podium with gold around your neck and the one thing you chant is business class. Yeah, just business. Sort of oversized boarding pass. <laughs> also, can you not guarantee that, Jace? You might have made that up. Yeah, so no, no, don't no, no, get no, too no. excited. That was, hey, that was we'll, many years ago. Well, um, Taylor, I'll be in Paris. So how about we hit the town once you finish? Yeah, oh, 100%. That'd be great. <laughs> Post competition. Don't roll your eyes, Jace. <laughs> You're just jealous. Only if you have a turn at the hurdles first. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you have to put on those hurdle. little running shorts. I have seen him jump many of those velvet ropes to get to a nightclub. <laughs> a different. <laughs> hey, um, Taylor, good on you, mate. Yeah. I, like, th- this is a dream come true for you. A 21, young Melbourne kid, you know, going to the Olympics. Uh, it- it's such an awesome story. I appreciate that so much. Is yes, it, Taylor, is anyone going with you? Do you take your mum or anyone in your family or are you just over there on your own? Yeah, so I've got my coach, Kyle Vandekart. Um, he's an Australian record holder. I've got yes. John Stephenson, who's my mentor. Oh, we Olympic love medalist. him. Oh, he'll be in the clubs <laughs> after the race. Yeah, oh. Definitely. Um, and then, yeah, my physio as well, Sam Leslie. So I've got my whole team there. And then um, I'm bringing my partner because um, yep. she's been a massive support this whole season. Yeah. Yep. And then... She's really close to my sister, so she would come as well. Oh, um, where's mum going to watch from? Yeah, watch from so mom? because my mum's a single parent, she has to take my little brother, um, right. and he actually has autism, so she has to kind of support him. So yeah, we really wanted her there, but we're trying to think what's the actual smarter option because it's obviously going to be packed there and busy. It'd so, be a lot for him. Yeah, 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 it'd, it'd be, be a lot for him. So yeah. she may be just supporting from home, which is okay. She's in spirit, everything, but I'll still have family members and, and my partner. Mate, there, so. I have no Aww. doubt you will hear your mum all the way <laughs> from I Melbourne. Bet. I definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine being a parent watching your 21-year-old wow. child at the Olympics? Oh. <laughs> How I mean, amazing. Our, she must be so proud of you. Mate, I'm proud when the kids put their own seatbelt on in the car. <laughs> imagine seeing a my kid at the games. What was the moment like when you told your mum, oh, oh. I'm in? Oh, she cried and it was crazy because she's – She's heard me since I was a little kid saying, I want to be here. I want to be at the Olympics. I want to be there. And she's had to sacrifice so much to get me here. Like I remember yeah. at training, things like that, I'd be 30 minutes late to get to the car. Everyone's gone. I'm like, trust the process. There's a reason why yeah. I'm always late. I'm recovering, things like that. <laughs> and yeah, she she's dedicated like her whole life to benefiting all of us kids. So with Aww. me making it here, it's like a little bit of a, like a thank you. You know? <laughs> she sounds like an kid. amazing mum. Yeah, yeah, and a great kid. Um, mate, we wish you the best over there. I appreciate that so Do much. Do it for Nova. I'm excited. Come yes. on. Let's we'll, we'll, Nova. we'll be cheering for <laughs> you. We're cheering you all the way. Absolutely. Right? I appreciate it. And when you've got John Stephenson and Clint Stanaway in your corner, oh, what could possibly yes. grow wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. What could exactly. possibly go wrong? We'll yes, have to get Steph on as well. Let's get him on. <laughs> Poor mum's listening right now going, I hope my boy's going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks for coming in, mate. I appreciate Good that so luck. much. Thank you. A um, couple of weeks ago, Loz, you and I... <laughs> got in big trouble. Yeah, we did. We did. We From were, our significant others. We were talking to Clint about his lifestyle. Mm. And what it's like being single. There was a you were telling us all the pros of the situation. Yeah, and it, look, it was all it, the good things. It was it was just supposed to be like a general passing yeah. comment. However, I think you got a bit carried away with the chat, Jay. Oh, it wasn't just me. Oh, it was a hint of jealousy. Excuse me. It, <laughs> how dare you? It was not just me. I've got audio proof. Have a listen to how passionate Lauren was about the subject. When you like, just go. I'm ready to leave the house yeah. now. You just don't wait walk, for anyone. Like you just walk out. You don't have to go. Like no one's going. Hang on, I've got to get no, my handbag. Just make sure that the dog's okay. Hang on, no. hang on. No. I, I can't no. find my phone. Mm-hmm. Have you seen my phone? You don't like. You just leave. I'll be two minutes. You don't. Oh, you don't have any that. of that. You just get no, in the car and just go. Just get in the car. So what about when it, at night time at about four o'clock or five o'clock? Mm. You don't have to say to anyone, "What do you want for dinner tonight?" And then spend two hours. Oh, no. Not agreeing on anything. You just order and cook and go to the shops and pick up whatever you want. Do you know what I also do? What? I put the TV on and I watch whatever I like oh. in that afternoon slot before the news. So you're telling me there's no one in your house that says, I've got to take this call. Can you turn that down? Nobody. Oh, that's living. Amanda in Port Melbourne, what's good about being single? Uh, well, my favourite thing is that on Christmas Day when everyone else is annoyed that they have to go to their in-laws, I get to either rest <laughs> or go out for drinks with friends. Oh, my God, you don't have in-laws. You only have to do half the day. You only have to deal with your family. Oh, my God. Wow, that's... Just, just the one Chris Kringle for us. <laughs> Hello, Anna in Langwarren. What do you love about being single? Um, 
there's no animosity or resentment uh, from one partner not picking up their weight kind of around the house. So you know that you've got to do all the chores, so it doesn't really matter. Hang on, so are you saying the conversation wouldn't have any patronising tone in the house? <laughs> Hello, Bella in Morty Alec. I just don't have to do anything for anyone else. And <laughs> when I get home after teaching four-year-olds all day, I can just not talk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hang on. So you're telling me, <laughs> this is the big one for me, you don't have to hear about someone's day. <laughs> I, I really don't. And you and Lee, I close the door, I walk in, and it's silent, and it's beautiful. It is lovely. <laughs> It's so I got in big trouble for the in-laws comment. Uh, oh, you didn't sound excited awesome, in that at all. What was awesome was when our production team also posted that on the internet. So my in-laws who don't live mm-hmm. in Melbourne got to see it twice and got to see it on the internet as regret, well. But I actually love, no, because I love my in-laws very much. <laughs> They're awesome. Great fun. We love them. Oh, Same. That's overcompensating. And <laughs> being in a relationship, Clint, <laughs> means you get two Christmases. Christmas with your family and Christmas with the in-laws. I like where you're going. Double the presents. What, are you going to try and make me jealous? Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, we're going to flip it. Oh. 13 good 24 10. <laughs> Melbourne, what's good about being in a relationship? Oh, I've got a good one. Well, can I just quickly the say Saturday what I- and Sunday? No, nope, it's okay. not your turn. Okay. Saturday and Sunday mornings, my Paul brings me a coffee in bed, and I lie in bed and I drink it, and I haven't even had to step one foot out of my bed or out of our bedroom. It's like having an Uber. It's like it. you're sleeping with the Uber Eats driver. It's like room service, but that's not good for him. <laughs> Thirteen twenty. There's two sides 10. to every story, Clint. He likes doing that for me. He loves it. <laughs> There's absolutely yes, no does. protest when I wake him up and say, does. can you go and get me a coffee, Doug? Probably likes flirting, he loves it. Probably likes flirting goes, with the barista. <laughs> he loves it and he tap dances all the way down to the coffee shop and all the way back. 13, 24, 10. <laughs> What's good about being in a relationship? Here's one for you. Yeah. When you go out, there's a 50-50 chance you're going to get free transport home. <laughs> Either you're driving or they're driving. You know how you take them in turns? Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. Fifty percent like chance car share. You get a free ride home. Yep. And also on your birthday, you generally get at least one big ticket item. Yes. Because your family is That's an adult. Right. They, give, they give up on you. They might yes. just send you a text these days. There's always one big partner, ticket item. You get a big ticket item. I'll tell you what I um what I'd like every now and then. A partner? <laughs> No. A head scratch? A head scratch yeah, is just a, a little bit of, about having a... Exactly. Oh. Just a little... Just Touch. a little cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> Rub yeah. someone going, do you want to go another 15 minutes? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be extra. <laughs> but the issue there is that, like, sometimes the cuddle, you get like, you get yourself into a really uncomfortable position and it's not that comfortable. Mm. Like, so there's... Okay, Clint. There's good and bad points here. It's weird no, when no. the pillow doesn't talk back, hey? <laughs> 13, 24, 10. We've highlighted the joys of being single today. What's what good the about being thing? in a relationship? Will we get yes. calls? We'll hit yeah, the phones we will. on the other side of this. Jojo, leave, get out. Remember that show, MTV Cribs? Yeah. Because Jojo was like 14 when she went big with leave. They did a MTV Cribs on Jojo, but it was her childhood bedroom at her parents' house. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, because she would have been young. Yes. So I was like, hey. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> welcome to my crib. This is mum and dad's house. This is my bedroom. I was like, all right, let's just get to exhibit. Oh, cute. She's real grown up now, Jojo. Just- oh, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, oh, yeah. you're on the air with uh, Jace and Lauren Clint's here from the newsroom as well. You're listening to Nova 100. It's like when you see Bindi Urban with a kid. I'm like, I'm old. Yeah. Or Nikki Webster. When did that happen? Yeah. Nikki Webster's like... It feels like yesterday she was she's hanging like from three that crash. She's in her 30s, isn't she? she got three kids. I made that up. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll confirm. I just feel like she might. <laughs> Back checker. <laughs> she's got children, I think. She's got a dance school with like... She, I don't know, that doesn't mean she has three children. <laughs> Nikki she's got kids. Marie Webster. She was born in 87. She's now 37. 37? Okay, I was born in 87. Seven. That's not that old. Well, no, but she was always a little, you know. Yeah, it feels like yesterday she was hanging, from, hanging on the street. Two children. So she was Two the children. same age as me. Yeah. So when I was watching that and I was like, look at this small child, I also was a small child. Yeah. Interesting. 
Okay, 13, 24, 10. <laughs> we are talking about what's the best thing about being in a relationship. Let's go to Mo. Great name. G'day, Mo. Hey, morning, how you Mo. going, guys? We're good. What's the best thing about being in a relationship, Moe? Uh, well, the best thing for me is that the wife gives great head massages, which oh. make me fall asleep really well. Um, yeah, she's, nice. she's, she's, she's a GP, so free doctor. Oh, oh, that's yes. good. If you, if all, you all date someone with get. a skill. Yeah. Is she able yep. to write you yep. scripts, mate? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I've, I've tried, but no, no, she, no good, no good. Oh, well, you did no, her. No, then yeah. I think that's... You need to get out of that relationship, of mate. Oh, is it? But she gives him good <laughs> head scratches, yes. everyone. God, my and hand I went for that dump scratch. button quickly, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it? There is something nice about getting your head patted as you fall asleep, though. If anyone else, if I've had a big night out, I'll lay on the couch and get the kids to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do that in another segment. Them? What's a good thing about having a child? <laughs> no, I'll just be like, hey, we'll save that for next week. Yeah, let's like, do that tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Can what you is good about having a kid? Vanessa? Good morning. Well, morning. How are we? Why do you love being in a relationship? So it's July. It's freezing in Melbourne and you know you go out for dinner and you're probably home by 10 p.m. because you're in a relationship and then you look at all those yep. people lining up for a bar or a nightclub yes. because, freezing you know, cold they ride yeah. and they might want to go and get lucky and pick up and you don't have to do any of that you can go uh, home you don't have to do what? any groundwork oh that's good yeah there's no groundwork. No I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to close, work. but there's no groundwork. No. You're actually... <laughs> you know what else is good? You're fast-forwarding to that moment on the dance floor when the lights come on. It's just one person left. Yeah. And, you, and you're putting yeah, the proposition out. you don't even out. have to say, do you want to go home together? Because you have no choice. You're just going <laughs> home together. You always have a choice. You live in the same house. Always have a choice. <laughs> no, you always have a choice. No, what, <laughs> I think what's good about being in a relationship for me is that I've never, never, ever, ever once since I've dated Paul have I put petrol in my car. He just does it. Doug, you drive an electric car. He's got an electric, yeah. <laughs> no, you drive okay, a Tesla. we've got two cars. <laughs> I don't know. think you should be putting petrol in it. You know what? I've never ever charged the car either. He just plugs it in. I don't know why. It's just a good thing about being in a relationship. Jeez, That's you are someone a else's catch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you untie Paul so he can say hello? <laughs> wow. Katie in No, Manda. he's off getting me a coffee. Um, what, what is it about a relationship you love? So when I'm already in bed watching Netflix for the night and I want a drink or I want dessert, my husband goes and gets it for me. Oh, so you're yes. in the same relationship as Lauren. What a dream boat. What a dream boat. Here's one for you. Yep. You got a, you know, time's on your side. You got a second mum looking after you in the form of a mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, no, well, you're talking about Lou. No, no, no. Like in the form of a mother-in-law. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you've got a second oh. set of parents. Yeah, so you've sometimes just had your yeah, mother in law. Depends who your mother in law is. And yeah. that pan out for you. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Gabby on thirteen twenty four ten. Gabby, you're good. not selling it. <laughs> good morning. Good thing about being in a relationship. Um, we've got a caravan, and I don't drive. I don't tow or anything. So from the time we go away, whether the trip's an hour or twenty hours, I can plug my earphones in, watch a movie, do what I want. I'm on holiday the whole time. He drives. <laughs> The whole okay. Well done. Can I, I love can, I, that. can I just point something out? Sorry, all the girls that have rung up have just said about their partners doing jobs. Yeah, they're for like them. servants. Yeah, yeah. Like so, Paul always pays for our flights on holidays. So I get free holidays. Thank you very much. Yeah, free holidays. Like it's all servant yep. stuff. Mate of mine are in a um. Mate of mine it's are not in a servant s- stuff. It's love, Jason. Oh. When you love your Sounds partner, like one way just- love. Got good mates of mine, Dave Clint, and Ro. What would you know? Well, not Go enough. Go back and pat but your But you know what? I'm very happy. <laughs> Same sex relationship, double the wardrobe. Oh, oh, that's a good that one. Is good. Yes, shoes, yes. That borrow is shoes, borrow your. Yep, yep. Good mates of ours, Ro and Dave. Is- they'll, they'll be mixing up outfits all the time. They just got the one wardrobe. Oh my god, that's awesome. Well, maybe I'll give this a go. All right, let's not go to the bad. phones. Try and offload some money this morning. Who are we playing with, Clint? Francine from Packenham. Good morning, Francine. Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling uh, smart? Uh, no, not at all. My, <laughs> um, actually, my son called while I was driving, right. and um, he's throwing the phone at me, so I'm right. a little bit nervous. Okay, oh, so, so if you're not too alert and you're a little bit all over the shop, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a nurse. <laughs> 
Okay, that's an issue. All right. Um, Francine, uh, first question. Would you like an easy question for 50 bucks, medium question for 500, or roll the dice and go for 5K? Uh, we'll go 5K. Yeah. $5,000. Yeah. $5, All right. Francine, rules are simple. Clint is going to give you a question. You will get three <laughs> seconds to answer it. Now, okay. Francine, I yeah. threw this question at Jace. Did he know it? Let's just say I was super close. Ooh. And like super close. Super close. Francine, here comes your $5,000 question. The first successful human heart transplant was in what year? Three, two, one. 1983. Oh! 1983. It's what was the answer? 1967. Oh, I would have guessed the 50s. I said 1968. You did. You Ooh. won off. Wow. In oh, Cape thank Town, you very much. South Africa. And you know what? A nurse. I thought she might have known that. <laughs> they didn't do that yeah, at nursing school. Risky business. Yeah, right. Well done, Francine. 67. Yeah, yep. The donor was only 25. The patient was 53 at the time. Did someone recently get a heart transplant from a pig or something? Some no, such they thing? tried it and it was unsuccessful. Oh, um, um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry they, I mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. Um, neither. We won't be doing that again? Or are we still trying trying that? You guys all good donors? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you back on the pig gut? <laughs> Are you calling me a pig? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, you've no. gone to a place we didn't want to go. Jeez. Um, um, what's uh, so they're not, doing the pig, they're not doing the pig organ doning anymore? No, we're not doing no. the pig, no. Okay. Um, you know, with organ donors, right? Is it yeah. still on your licence? Yes, oh, I Look, think I so. believe so, yeah. Yeah, right. I, I have to admit, I, I haven't ticked the box just yet. Really? I should do, shouldn't I? Absolutely. I organ doning is amazing. Yeah, 100%. Like, what are you going to do with it? Then again. Exactly, that's a good point. I don't know if I want your liver <laughs> or my heart. Oh, his wouldn't pass the test. Oh, his God, liver no. wouldn't pass the test. How did no. the patient wake up in a worse situation after the <laughs> transplant than what they were like beforehand? It makes no sense. It's going yellow. Hey, the uh, liver doesn't work. Watch this, Loz. Yes? Two hours, 45 minutes till you have to be at the airport. Oh, really? <laughs> He's having an... A- oh, my God, it is too, because you've got to be there two hours early. Yes. Have you still not packed? I packed something. No, tell Lauren what Clint. you did. Tell Lauren what you did this morning because Clint is going to Paris today for the Olympics. And what did you do this morning, Clint? I put a load of washing on. <laughs> but I don't. And you've a, got to leave in two hours. I don't have a dryer. <laughs> <gasps> oh, can someone bring it to my house and I'll put it in the dryer? He doesn't have time. He's got to be at the airport in two hours and forty-five minutes. You can't take wet clothes in a suitcase. That's ridiculous. That would be the disgusting. Other thing, uh, just to, while we're in the confessional, hey, did, you, did you get I, the packing cubes? I didn't get the packing cubes. Oh, oh get the I told you, cubes. packing cubes hey. change your life. I can't find my wallet. What? I can't find my wallet anywhere. Passport? You're going for a month. Have you got, got my, do you I've know where your passport, passport is? Okay, that's fine. Is your wallet you don't need your wallet. Cards, are your cards on your phone? Don't I? What if I need to get cash out of the bank? Have you got no, a- you know what you do need it for? When you check into a hotel, you have to give them a physical copy of your you do, yeah. credit card. Oh. Have you got the... um? Have you got the money? Let's get on with the show because I need to get home. Hang on. Are you jo- I don't know if you're joking. No, or he's serious. I'm, I'm, he's I, don't, serious. I don't know where my wallet is. <laughs> Are you asking him if he's got one of those? Oh, have you got man. the money belt to wear under <laughs> your <money> shirt? Belt. <laughs> <laughs> you should in Paris. You There'll need the money belt. galore. Johnny Pickpocket will get you. Belt. I'm going to go to Big W get you the money can belt. <laughs> Clint. And you, you can Imagine see- me on the shops Elysee with my tan coloured money belt. <laughs> Well, no one would ever see it because it's under your it's under your shirt. I'll just grab a croissant, please. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting his shirt, taking ten bucks out of the nipple region. He's going to wear a money belt now that he's got a good rig on him. He just wants to lift up his shirt and show it off. <laughs> he didn't even want the croissant. He just wants to spend money. That's why he also washed all his clothes. So he's got oh, no clothes. Oh, that's funny. Hey, um, guys, let's head to the US. Oh, yes. Not Paris. We'll head to the US. Um, oh, America. America. What's happening oh, hey. in America? Well, there's a bit happening in America. There right is. Now. Trumpy has appeared. What did we think of the patch on the ear after the assassination attempt? Well, I mean, of course he wore a patch on his ear. He's, he got his ear shot in half But are we this actually week? sure that he saw a doctor? Clint. Because that didn't look like a patch that a doctor would actually administer. Yes. No, it you're definitely shoddy. right, Clint. The former 
uh, president of the states went to the Westfield um, Emergency Centre and they just whacked it on there. I think he went to Medi Plus down the road. I thought it was, I mean... God, if I got shot, I'd be milking that bloody sick day for a few weeks. Yeah, I would have worn a bandage around my whole head. Like football players, when they get a tiny little cut on their head and they wrap the whole thing what up. What about the theatre? So he's at the RNC convention, the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Yep. The walkout song. Prayer work. Because he was sure as Donald Trump turned his head yeah. slightly that Wait the bullet the missed him just enough to save his life. To be the next president of the United States. Well, I mean the theatrics of it all. We have believed for so long that God will make some changes in this country. Mm. Wow. Do you, I mean, could you imagine any of our prime ministers in waiting, <laughs> walking out like mm. that? With the pump up music? Well, no. I mean, bloody, what's his name? It Kevin looked o- like he was at the UFC. Kevin 07 threw his toys because they didn't have a hairdryer on the, <laughs> on the right. jet. Remember that? That's right. What Kevin. did he do? <laughs> when Kevin Rudd was in office, yeah. he was flying on our version of Air Force One, which is pretty yeah. much Tiger, um, yeah. and the Air Force didn't have a hairdryer on the plane, and he cracked the shit big mm. time. Well, fair enough. He had you a should have everything on, on that plane. Kevin had a temper. Yeah, but Jace, Kevin did have a temper. You. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. 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 He cracked yeah. it. He was doing a pre-recorded interview one day, and he cracked him royal. <laughs> Like an, and really? they they recorded it off air and then they played it back and he was oh, yeah. exposed. But it wasn't even anger; it was like a child chucking yeah. a tantrum over hey. the hair dryer. No, no, no! It was over different issues. It wasn't always. Uh. It wasn't always. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always Kevin, over a hair dryer. Like hair the dryer. king, King Charles. Remember when he didn't like the pen that he had to sign his coronation with? Yeah, right. Right. He had a tantrum. Well, you try and get those sausage fingers around a bick. Hey, also yeah, no, in he the wanted US, a Parker. I did this on the yeah. news last night. There was, <laughs> I love an anthem fail, right? Oh, and, no, I and saw And yesterday this. at the uh, US uh, Major League Baseball home run derby, a, cu- a four-time Grammy-winning country singer no, got up to perform Star Spangled Banner, and this is what <laughs> happened. And the rock gets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Are you serious? That it gets better. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is she singing the words? She's speaking gibberish. All of a sudden, meat, ah. meatloaf at the grand final wasn't that bad. Well, she's that's worse than Roseanne. She's uh, yeah. oh, we've got Roseanne, I think. Oh yeah, for, oh yeah, that's yeah. Worse than Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I'm even I'm not that bad. So, Ingrid Andrus was her name. Now she's uh, responded by saying, I'm not gonna bullshit y'all. I was drunk last night. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah, she posted to Twitter. <laughs> she also she, well, said, I mean, she's not even singing the words. She's, she's also come mumbling. out and said, I'm checking myself into a facility today oh, to well, get help. Oh, funny. that's not funny. Oh. Does she mean like a singing facility? Yes. <laughs> yes, the karaoke bar down at Crown. <laughs> like, is she off to music school? Wow. She is, Lauren. That's what she meant. Gee. The music facility. <laughs> all right. It's where we all need to go to help she get help. She needs some singing lessons. It is just gone 22 <laughs> past eight. Oh, no. Two what? hours, two hours oh, and 38 don't. minutes. So he's got to be in the airport. Go. Awkward. 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 That's awkward. Mm, Things that are awkward that shouldn't be. I am the queen of things being awkward or making me feel uncomfortable. And the perfect example was during our holidays, um, it was just Paul and I. We'd had dinner. And after dinner, I said, should we go and get a gelato? We're in Greece, in Europe. And I was like, let's go get a gelato. Not two. Uh, Two flavours. Couple cone. Well... I'm not an idiot, so I got a waffle cone because as far as I'm concerned, that is living, having a Mm. waffle cone. Two flavours, just the two of us walking along and straight away as we walked out of the shop, we bumped into a couple that we knew and I regretted the waffle (laughs) cone. because it dribbled down your Because then I was standing there as a 37-year-old adult licking (laughs) my ice cream, (laughs) which somehow seems acceptable around your partner but no one else, and I'm like, yeah, the holiday's been good. (laughs) 
yep. Yeah, well, and then I, it was dripping, so I just had See, to keep licking my hand, licking, and I was like, why didn't I get a cup? It's time to grow up, Lauren. Get the cup. She takes me as one of those people that would get the cone, but have a spoon. No. Oh, nah. yes. I was yeah. straight in. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just wrap but the also napkin just, around there. Just the people who try too many flavours in the ice cream shop. Like, come on, we're all waiting. Oh, don't that's – no, no, no. That you is You should awkward. be allowed one taster. But when one they go, spoon, maybe one two. taster. Would you like a taste test? And I go, yeah, can I try the um, – I'll try the raspberry. And then you try it and go, mmm, can I have a scoop of chocolate, it. please? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like they didn't make the ice cream. They're not offended. They just work there. That is It's awkward. fine. It's okay to order a different flavour. <laughs> can I take you – to the world of retail. Do it. Yes. <sighs> Tried some stuff on to shop the other day. You'll never guess which one. Uniqlo. Gas man. Con- country Road. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Who again, we guessed? Again, these people don't make the clothes. Why do I have to feel so awkward that I'm not but buying why, it? So I'm in the change room. Why are you still trying things on at Country Road? You wear the same thing every day. Because one in of their, f- in their relaxed fit, I'm a medium. <laughs> in their slim fit? <laughs> XL. <laughs> It's so sad how many sizes you have to go up in things in a So sad, fit. Lauren. So sad. And I'm in the change room and I'm like, well, this doesn't fit. This looks like oh, it's painted I'm on. Devastated. And then you come out and they're like, you going to grab those? And I have to no, go, no, oh, thanks. no, just, um, mm-hmm. can you, Didn't like it. Can you put yeah. that back? Or even worse, when I walk up to the table and everything's beautifully folded and I pull a shirt up and I go, no. And then you and then I have to try and fold it and put it back on the table. And it's so hard to fold. It's all in the wrist flick if you're going to try and fold it. From my old retail days. And they go, "Don't worry, don't worry, we'll fix it." Oh, they do that. Yeah, I look like a slob looking Um, like that. Lauren, you're going to like this one. Yeah, (laughs) I went to the premiere of Ned Brockman's documentary Run the other day, which was sensational. So long, Uh, about ninety minutes. The run of the movie was a long run. About ninety minutes. Yeah, right. On the way in, he was meeting and greeting people, all good, red carpet photos. But they had one of those oversized Instagram frames. The no, cardboard No, no, they've got to all be burnt. <laughs> Set know, fire to all of them. And you've got to pose with your head inside no, the cardboard No, you didn't do it, did you? Oh, they, the, the frame came for me and all of a sudden... Someone was shoving my head in the frame no. and we, I couldn't escape it. We had the similar they all situation. Need to go to the tip. Uh, on the holidays, we took the, the kids to the aquarium and they won't let you in until you stand in front of that green screen. <laughs> now pretend a shark's coming at you. Oh, oh, no. And you have to sit there and go, no. No, no, no. no <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Can, I'm just here to see the whale or the dugong, <laughs> whatever we've got in there. The only other awkward thing yeah. that really happened on my holiday is being in a restaurant, especially somewhere you haven't been before, and you say to the waiter, oh, well, what would you recommend? <laughs> and then when you get it, you hate it. Mm. And they come over and they go, oh, how is the chicken parfait? And you're like, mm. you haven't touched it. Or again, like, it's like the ice, or again, it's like the ice cream. When they, you go, what would you recommend? They go, seafood pasta. And you're like, great, I'll have the steak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your advice. Oh, hopefully Coxie is back for a big weekend of footy. Hey, how good's this, guys? 13-24-10, if you would like to win a row at the football for you and your mates, uh, it's going to be a different game every week. And this week, we are looking for North Melbourne fans or the Blue Baggers. That's right, North Melbourne v Carlton this weekend. And we've got a whole row of tickets, you're telling me. Marble Stadium this Sunday. Tickets are available online at afl.com.au. It's Could always a great the, um, day out for the family. Fit the North tickets Melbourne are on membership us. base in one row. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, nothing. I shouldn't he throw said- stones. The whole North Melbourne membership base could fit in one row. Well, North now, that Melbourne is rude. have had some wins lately. They have. So, my, my nephew, Leo, will be listening, and he's so a big North Melbourne Back fan. in your box. All right? The Roos have done, like, they haven't well, done What about the baggers? Oh, what the about the blue baggers? Yeah. They're on. They're talking premierships. But going to the footy can be quite expensive. So, there you go. Go with your mates. Marble's go got, your Marble's got the, uh, the food stands, yeah. you know, where you just walk out. You, you don't it. have to pull cash out. It's yeah, great. you feel like you're robbing the you, joint. You um, text Lauren and I during the week to brag about the fact you were going very well in the Herald Sun footy tipping. You were first place. First place. That was before the what weekend. What happened at the weekend? A uh, couple of shockers, Clint. I'll be honest. Oh, look, let's go to the phones. Ashley in Ivanhoe. Hey, how are you guys? We're good, Ash. How are you? 
I'm great, thank you. I'm hoping uh, I'm going to the footy soon. Well, <laughs> who do you barrack for? Yeah. Pardon? Who do you barrack for? Who's your team? I go for Collingwood myself, uh, but the whole family goes for Carlton. So, right. uh, but honestly, we're, we're, I'm keen for any game. Well, so. they're going to love you because you have got yourself a row at Marvel <laughs> this weekend. No way. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Reason we we're doing be it. the favourite family member. And we thought, let's, you know, offload these tickets uh, every week on a Wednesday to give you time to get you and your mates together cool. for the footy. How so good. be listening every week to win a row at the footy here on Nova 100. Coming up next, we had a friend of ours over the other day, one of the mums from school. You know her, Loz. Um, Not Kiri, the one who flips the bird. I was about to say, I won't say her name. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not Kiri. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, Jase. I only know one school mum. That was a stitch up. Stop saying her name. Morning, Kiri. <laughs> no, did. her name's Wendy. She did oh, no, that's so- your mother-in-law. That could be worse. Her name's Jenny. So anyway, when Kiri was around, she did something <laughs> quite odd, which really threw me. And I think people in Melbourne are guilty of it as well. We'll go there next. What's happened? <laughs> Don't. You got three hours and thirteen minutes. Well, well that's then, amazing. Yeah. Till you need to be at the airport to go. An to hour Paris. ago, you said he had two hours. I know. So I realised my maths was a little. You did off. the maths wrong? Okay, so we've got three hours before Clint has to go to Paris. How many things are in the suitcase? Um. <laughs> Have you done your toiletries? I put the, I put, <laughs> I put the work polos in there last night. That was about it. Oh, you got to take your own uniforms. Oh, yeah. Pack a, oh pack a cardigan goodness. or something. It could be cold. Well, I just asked He just question. said, do I need to take a jacket? And I said, Clint, you're going for a month. Just take one light jacket. So also, a puffer? Also, you need to pack your carry-on. Like, you need changes of clothes for the carry-on. No, not a puffer. You're going to summer in Europe. What do you mean you need a change of clothes for the carry-on? You want to oh, change while you're in the four. air. So do, do I. You? Yeah, I always yeah. carry it. You always take a bag oh, no. on the plane to change mid-air. I'm just going to ferment I have at in least... the same clothes. <laughs> See, I have it. A... No, but he's flying up the pointy end, so he'll get given pajamas. Oh, the pajamas! Um, but I always travel with about four outfits. Always, really, in my carry-on. You know well, what I yeah, do? What, because I what if w- your luggage gets lost and then you get to the other side, you've got a bunch of stuff to wear. Oh. I always wear nice clothes to the airport in the hope of getting upgraded. Oh yeah, and when that doesn't no one's happen, just getting upgraded. Like every time, then I change back to my shorts and shirt after a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, you don't wear thongs on a plane, do you? No, take okay. my shoes off. Oh, oh. sorry. No, you, you walk got, up and down the aisle socks. with no shoes. No, no, no. You have to wear socks or shoes or those Not little those. slippers if you're up the pointy end, which is where Clint will be. <laughs> anyway, over the uh, over the break, we had uh, we're having people come around check out the new house. One of the mums from school, who you know, Loz, um, popped around with her kids. She will remain unnamed. Let's call her Kiri, and. Um, She's a bit of fun. She came around. You know, she's a hoot. She is. She is a hoot. She's like, you know what? We'll pop in. Six but hours did you later. you the thing where you're like, oh, like we're not set up yet. Like, don't judge me. I hated people coming over until the house was fully set up. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not going to stay like this. You know, we've still got things to arrive. The art's still coming. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get chairs. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, she popped in and six hours later, um, you know, oh. I was... <laughs> I was ordering in dinner and stuff, and it was starting to get dark because all the kids were in the pool, you yeah. know, because I got the pool heater going it's at the so moment. Hot. It's so hot. It's like a spa. Until the first you know, bill like arrives. little gnocchis floating around in the boiling water, <laughs> just bobbing around because Jase has got the pool at 50 degrees. Anyway, then the look of fear hit Kerry's face, and I thought, what's wrong? Are we out of wine? That wasn't it. She forgot she, the kids are in the pool. No. She forgot she had kids. <laughs> she forgot about the dog. She goes, oh, my God, oh. the dog's at home mm. in the dark. So she oh, then, the dark's fine. She then yeah. uploads the security cameras at home on her phone, mm. and I hear her talking to the dog. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. Bed. <laughs> Get on your bed. Get on your bed. Bed. She's giving instructions yeah. to the dog through the security camera. Yeah, dogs have more discipline than children, Jace. She goes, I... I I call the dog all the Can time. You play it once more time. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. Stand. I can hear the chinking yeah. glasses. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> and the ice in your lemon, whatever that is. Apparently, this is a thing. 
people call yeah. and check in with their pets. Yeah, 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 I look at my security cameras to see what they're But do you doing talk to your pets? Uh, no, I used to. Um, I used to have this thing. It was called a, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a speaker that also had treats in it. And if they did the right thing, you'd push a button on your yeah, phone and a little treat would pop out. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. that is Because I had a mate of mine, Jono, in Brisbane, and he used to, this was years ago, so he would Skype the cat. <laughs> the cat? Yeah, and apparently I remember one time he was at work it and he's like- It doesn't work, though. They don't know. Well, he's like, Ollie, 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 <laughs> trying to get the cat's attention to come over to the camera. And as he's going, Ollie, 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 the housekeeper just put her face down. Oh. He forgot the cleaner oh, was no. there that day. <laughs> And yeah. it scared the hell out of him. Uh, do you know what? Cats can fend for themselves for days. Um, I reckon it would have scared the hell out of the housekeeper more than it scared the hell out of him. Here's what but I would like to do this morning. She started hearing voices. 13 24 10. If you call or intercom your pet, I would like you to give us a ring now and give us an example of how the conversation goes. Oh, yeah, yeah I love when people talk dog on our show. You know that. 13 24 10. Hello, little teddy and mother. Hello, little puppy dogs. Hello, little babies. You want some breakfast? That's what I mean. <laughs> I do it too. How do you talk to Pep? Well, it's you can tell he's not a dog guy. Look at the way he's looking. No, I love dogs. I love dogs. Yeah. And he's asleep in my... Come on, come on. Time to get up. Big <laughs> stretch. Oh, big, big stretch. Big stretch. Oh, come on. Come on. Up. Get up. Get up. Come dinner. On, do you want some dinner? What about a schmacko? Who wants a treat? Who wants a treat? I've just realised you guys talk nicer to your pets than we talk to our kids. Yeah, Get up! No, that's generally how it works. Make your bed! Make your bed! I also walk into the house like this. I'm like, oh, hello, Chitty. Hello, Mala. Hello, babies. Have you missed me? And then I'm like, hi, Paul. Hey, <laughs> little puppy. Hello. Who wants a scratch? You should Who wants give your kids a schmacko. It's hey, really life changing. All right, I'll give it a crack. I might buy that no, automatic. No, schmacko's a band for kids. You can't schmacko kids anymore. I might buy that automatic feeder that Lauren had. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> 13 24 10, how do you speak to your pet? Give us a call. We are asking on 13 24 10, do you talk to your pets? friend of ours was over during the week, Kiri, and stayed a little bit longer than expected, uh, about six and a half hours overdue. And um, <laughs> she, re- she realised, oh, God, the, the dog's at home by itself. So she loaded up her check-in. phone and put a call in. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. It's dead. Get on your bed. Yeah. Well, Sam, her no, partner's a lucky you, man. Most people's <laughs> dogs are more disciplined than hey, their children. Lauren, what if you yeah. need to discipline your animals, your dogs? How do you speak to them? Just, ju- it just changed the tone in go, your voice. Give us a go. They listen to. So time. Marla's go. just pooed on the floor <laughs> again. No, she'd be more and likely to jump it. up on the bench and eat the steak that we just okay. cooked. And okay. how do you react? So she's it's eating like, the wagyu wife fillet. <laughs> Mala, what are you doing? Get in your bed. Get on your bed. It's like that. Mm. Now, is that good? If Paul's in trouble, your fiance do if the voice. He gets up on the bench and <laughs> eats the steak. <laughs> he gets the silent treatment. Oh, he doesn't right, respond yeah, well to course, the tone. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he just gets the silent treatment. Thirteen twenty four ten. How do you talk to your pets? We want to dramatise the reenactment. Let's go to Rachel. Rachel, what pets have you got? Uh, two dogs, guys. Two Westies. Right. Bella okay. and Bear. Come on. Rach, give us your oh, best dog. Hi, Sally Belly, Mama's girl. Come on, Sally Belly, love you. Bear, 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 wood, Mama's boy. Bear, bear, Mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love it. Do you they ever love it? Is this only in person, or do you like call them on the security cameras or anything? No, I wish I could call them. Um, I imagine that work would really like that if like they could hear me in the office doing that. Um, <laughs> that wouldn't go down well, but I would love it. It's mm. funny, though, because we don't even question when we hear people talk like that. Like, I hear my friends talk to their dogs all the time, and I'm like, yeah, they're talking dog. Julia in Caulfield, talk dog to us. <laughs> you want a bossy, you want a bossy, you love a bossy, you stinky boy. You want a bossy, <laughs> Yeah, I want a bossy, I want a bossy. <laughs> I'm a stinky yeah, boy, Julia. Because- you got to make it sound fun, because then they get excited yeah. about having a bath. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. And you know what? When my dogs want to eat, I'm like... Who wants their dinner? And they come running. And then I'm like, Paul, do you want dinner? Should I try like, that? We I'm talk gonna very try, should I try that with the kids too? Yeah, you should. Who, Who wants to get out of the dinner? pool and clean up? You should try it with Lou. Yeah, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hey, fun. Uh, it's fun. morning, Pete, in Endeavour Hills. Um, yeah, good, 
So what is it, your mum? Your mum, the way your mum talks to your dog? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so basically it's my mum's dog. She's got a camera similar to what Jace was saying. So it's one of the ones that can swing around so she can view it. And um, whenever we'll be out for dinner or something like that, she'll talk to the dog and be like, Muttley, Muttley, hey, Muttley, it's all right. Mummy will be home soon. Get in your bed. Hey, Muttley. <laughs> she'll do that in the restaurant? <laughs> yeah, no joke. Any occasion. And is her dog actually called Muttley? Yes, like from Wacky Ray. Does, does, yeah, yeah, yeah. does Muttley talk back? Respond. Oh, I think he just gets a bit confused. He's like, where is she? <laughs> Yeah, when Mom's they hear the voice the and they can't see the person. Yeah, I, I tried. Doing that um, in a restaurant. I I came home from Europe a little earlier than Paul, my fiance, and I was trying to get him to FaceTime the dogs, and they just they don't get it. That they, they're not, so not dumb. interested or just how dumb are you, dog? He's yeah. inside the phone. Why can't you work that out? They just not not interested. Pets are like I was sick of doing it during COVID. I'm not zooming anymore. No yeah, I'm done with Zoom. Zoom days are over, baby. Let's get a Caitlin in Frankston. Caitlin, give us some dog. The bench now, <laughs> <laughs> Lauren. We've Go got again. two German shorthead pointers, so I know what you're doing. You know, <laughs> you know the struggle of the like. Oh. My dog's almost turned itself into a giraffe. It's like stretched <laughs> its neck so it can jump up and put its head in the sink to try and get whatever might be left in the sink. But Caitlin, what about oh. what about if they're being good, like good dogs? Oh, well, I dog? only. Usually tell them off through the pet camera if they're being naughty. Right. Um, yeah. But if they're being good, we'll be like, Mummy and Daddy will be back soon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mummy and Daddy. I don't say Mummy and Daddy to mine. I just say, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? I like the authority in Caitlin's voice when yeah, they're in trouble. Good. Do like it again, Caitlin. Teacher. They're in trouble. Get Go. off the bench. Maggie, drop the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> That is it. We are getting out of here. Hey, guys, I need to apologise. I stuffed up the maths a bit earlier. Mm. It is actually one hour and 54 minutes until Clint Clint has has to to be be in the airport. airport. Our very own Clint Stanaway is flying (laughs) to Paris for the Olympics, and he's yet to pack a thing. In fact, he did his washing this morning, so all his clothes are wet. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. How many pairs of undies do you reckon I need for a month? One a day. Every yeah, day well, for the month. One a day. I'm not taking Well, I wear two pairs. a day. You wear We're two pairs have to of do duds some a washing. day. Yeah, well, remember, we yeah. sh- she almost pooed herself on the tan. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one. Well, you shower before you go out for dinner, put a yeah. fresh pair on, then shower in the morning. Well, but you're going to need to find a laundry mat nearby. I will miss you both immensely. Oh in all honesty, gosh, mate. How long are you away for? I'm away for almost four weeks. Are you still going to be on the air? I'm on the air. Yep. I'm in transit for the next uh, 24 hours, but I will join you Friday oh my morning. Gosh. Please, yep. please be careful over there. I will. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Dad. And what are you doing leaving me with Jason for a month? Heaven <laughs> help. <laughs> I'll bring you back something nice. A beret, please. A beret with your name on are it. Are you going to go to the Moulin Rouge? Uh, do you know what? I think I should go to the Moulin Rouge. Am I allowed? Do you know any French words? Can you put Voulez-vous me? coucher avec no. moi? Ce Doesn't that mean do you want to go to bed with me? I think he's just singing Lady Marmalade. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that what that means? I think it means do you want to lie with me? All right. Yeah. Can you put careful. one of those little padlocks on the bridge for me while you're over there? <laughs> I love lock. <laughs> have you got an air an air tag for your suitcase, well, Doug? You know what? I don't have clothes at the moment, so we <laughs> He's getting later. rattled. All right. We, he must go. I must go. He must go. Safe travels, bon voyage, Clint. We will Melbourne. miss you. Arrivederci, Clint. We oh. will see you tomorrow. What's Bye. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bring us back a pastry. Au revoir. Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.